guess what I discovered? Sharia law is coming to Amazon. Uh, I published a book on August 6th, even though it says August 5th, uh, called uh, The Quran Says What? And uh, I made a book cover for it. But, you know, I really didn't care for the book cover, so I made a new one. I thought, I wonder what would happen if I made it controversial. So, this is the this is the newest one here. I'll show you the la I'll show you the yeah. Here's the here's the newest one. It's called the Quran says what, you know. And um, yeah, this is me. You can't see me very well, but that's me. And I'm reading the Quran. And if you look here, uh, <laughs> you'll see some uh, toilet paper here. See. In other words, in that picture, I'm reading the Quran on the toilet. You know, of course, you know, you really don't, yeah, I'm not really, you know, doing anything. But uh, uh, the reason why I did that is because there is a belief in Islam um, going around on the internet. I, I can't find it in the, in the Quran. But if you walk into a bathroom with the Quran, Allah will punish you by turning you into a monster. And uh, as a matter of fact, I even show videos of it down here. See here. See, yeah. Okay. Dedicated. And there's the table of contents, introduction and stuff. I even post, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll even click on one here. I'll even click on one. Yeah. See it? Yeah. Yeah, where a girl kicked the Quran and, and turns into a monster. And then there's this one here, where uh, I'll click on that one and yeah, girl kicked the Quran of God, punishment. Allah turns into turns into uh, you'll see, but turns into this kind of monster here. Yeah. And of course, there's this one. She ends the girl that uh, does something with the Quran ends up turning into some kind of monster before she dies. And then I put my own video here and uh, click on that thing. And it's called uh, says flirting with monsterhood. Flirting with monsterhood. Hi. Yeah. You know, it's uh, quite apparent to me that uh, the belief in magic in Islam is very powerful to the point but anyway <laughs> I'll show, now, now, now when it comes to the idea of Sharia law guess what apparently Amazon doesn't want to publish books that have pictures of people on the toilet reading the Quran apparently that is haram or forbidden or something like that because if you look for this book on the internet, do you think you're gonna see that picture of the book? No, you'll see you'll see the original one here. I'll go back here. Here it is. I'll click on it. And this is it right here. See? Does that look like me on the toilet? No. I'm not on the toilet. But that's the original one. And watch this. See? Uh, you click on it, it says look inside. Yeah, click on it, look on look inside, and boom, it's this one. <laughs> <laughs> you know <laughs> what goes to show you Sharia is coming to Amazon so if they don't like the, the, the book cover thing it's going to make Muslims mad they'll show you something where you, you, it, it doesn't look like it's going to it doesn't look so bad you know so not only is there a block on my books on Amazon now nah, they're even changing the book covers you know so I tell you what, it's just a matter of time where they'll remove my books. I know it is. They're, they're going to be removed because, as O'Blamer said, when he was at the UN blaming a videotape from Benghazi, uh, a YouTube videotape, he said, make no mistake, he said, uh, the future must not belong to those who had slandered the prophet of Islam. And you want to know, he made good on that by imprisoning the guy who made that videotape. And you want to know something? That videotape called The Innocence of Muslims, it was all based on Islamic sources. Uh, the Hadith. You know, 
He, he didn't make that stuff up. It came from the Hadith. And he dramatized it, and that was a no-no. Got in time. And uh, Hillary, both Hillary... I call, call her the Hilda Beast, and a blamer went begging to Pakistan saying, oh, it was a terrible video, a disgusting video, oh, uh, we're going we're gonna to get the guy who made that video. All he did was, it was just totally based on Islamic sources. And they put that guy in prison, and who knows what, his name was Nikula Nikula. And apparently, uh, there really must be no future for those that son of the Prophet Islam, to, starting right now where they're changing book covers. They're not going to show me on the toilet. You're going to show the thing where I'm just reading the Quran. And with this, they're just going to show this one here. They're going to show that one here. You know, But you know something? If you actually bought that video, if you actually bought that book, that ebook, you would see, you'd see it this way. I'll click on it here. Click on it here. Yeah, and you'd see this. You'd see, the, you'd see this version here. And where the Quran says, what? The Quran says what? And then, yeah, so this is the book. This is the ebook here. Yeah, what's the last thing here? Uh, so, all this book given to Musa is a lie? If so, and ever doesn't push. Well, anyway, <laughs> uh, hey, the day's coming where not only will they not uh, show you, that not only will they try to make book covers that aren't offensive to Muslims, they'll get rid of the books too. Uh, slandering the Prophet of Islam. You know what slandering the Prophet of Islam is in Islam? It's just exposing what's in the Quran and Hadith Muslims don't want you to know about. That's what slandering the Prophet of Islam is. And apparently, a blamer is getting his uh, way again. But 